In this video, I'll be going over my OBS, Minecraft, and Lunar Client settings because so many people over the past few months have been asking for them. So I thought it was finally time because currently I am pretty content with my settings and I don't think I'll be changing them anytime soon. So I thought this was the best time to make a video on it. There's also timestamps linked in the description. So if you want to go to a certain point in the video, you can do that. All right, so starting off with my Minecraft settings, and by the way, I'll be going through these pretty quickly. So if you at any point want to copy my settings, then just pause the video. All right, so to start off, my FOV is 85. I used to play on 80, but I like 85 better, especially for playing bridge. This is my skin customization. This doesn't even matter too much. Music and sounds, you can pause if you want to. Video settings, graphics is fancy. Smooth lighting is maximum. Smooth lighting level is 100%. GUI scale is normal. Brightness is on the max, which doesn't really matter because I use full bright. Dynamic lights are off. Dynamic FOV is off. Alternative blocks and VBOs are on and view bobbing is also off. I play on max frame rate. Uh, I just like it the best that way and 12 render distance. And then here are all my detail settings, swamp colors on, smooth biomes, and all this other stuff is on. And yeah. these are all my animations. Now this is kind of customizable for whatever game mode you play. So for me, since I mainly play Bridge and Bed Wars, these are the best for this game mode in my opinion. And I definitely recommend you turn explosion animations off. That way when you place TNT, you can actually see um, and there's not a huge explosion in front of you. Now for my quality settings, um, here are all of them. Here's my performance settings. Smart animations off, render regions off, junk updates one, fast render off. And here are the other settings. Now for my controls, uh, invert mouse is off, touch screen mode is off, and I play on 40 sensitivity. I play with uh, 1600 DPI. Um, so for breaking blocks, I have left click and then um, placing blocks, right click. To drop items, I have C. Um, one to four in my hotkeys are default. Five is Q, six is X. Seven is the front side button on my mouse. Eight is F and nine is the back side button on my mouse. Okay, and then my perspective, toggle perspective thing is R. I like that easily because it's just, it's right there. Okay, so here are my chat settings and you can just pretty much copy these. All right, so for my lunar settings, I have 1.7 visuals on. They are all set to 1.7. CPS mod, you can pause here if you want. Toggle sneak slash sprint. Uh, once again, you can pause. That is on. Zoom is on. High pixel mods, this is how they are. My crosshair mod is on. And now this is the crosshair I use mainly for Bedwars. If I play bridge, I go with the dot crosshair. And now these are all customizable. Um, there's presets here if you like any of these. I mainly use this one here on a normal GUI scale. And I use sometimes vanilla blending and sometimes static. Now static is where it's just a consistent white color and vanilla blending is to where it changes the color of it based on where you're looking at. So it's a darker color when you're looking at a bright sky. And if you're looking at a darker block, it comes up more as a brighter white color. Now I have titles on, I have potion effects on as well. Now for my hit color, I have it all the way up to the top left. Opacity is turned way down to here. And I have the hit color um, go over my armor. That way it's one clean, consistent color. I have scoreboard on as well. You wanna turn text shadow on and high numbers on, otherwise, these red numbers will be here and text shadow just makes it look really weird. So make sure text shadow and high numbers are on. I have ping mod on. Uh, turn on turn on show background as well. It makes it transparent and really, really clean. My motion blur is not uh, an old blur and it's connected to five. That's the one I always use, which looks really clean with my OBS settings. Okay, so this is my chat mod. Tab editor is on, name tags on. Okay, so for particle changer, here are all my settings. Time changer mod, this is just personal preference and based off the pack, you can just change this however you like. Block outline is on. I do mess with this quite a lot though, based on just the mood I'm feeling in. My block outline color is black, turned all the way up on opacity. And my block overlay color is, the opacity is turned to about 65% and it's also turned all the way to black. The width of the block outline is 4.67. This makes it to where it's a little bit bigger than the default, but it's not too big. And then if 
you want a overlay and outline on, just turn both on. But I have overlay on and no block outline right now. I have screenshot uploader on. For hitboxes, I have these on. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you want to use hitboxes like the way I do, I have just projectile hitbox on. And in the regular Lunar Client settings, if you go to performance and turn all these off at the bottom here, it'll really help you. It'll, you can turn off ground arrows and stuck arrows. So that way, if an arrow lands on someone's skin, then it won't stay stuck in their skin and it'll just look better. And the rest, you can just copy here. Smart disconnect and be smart if you're on a win streak. That way you don't accidentally disconnect like in a bridge game or something like that. Okay, so for performance, these are all my settings. You can copy them. I also have shadow turned off. Um, it basically just adds like a shadow under your character or other people's character, which sometimes I just kind of like messes up my aim. Um, so I like to have that off. Now, here are all my controls here. And that's pretty much it for all my lunar settings. All right, so here are my OBS settings. And first thing we want to get into is the general settings. Now, these are all set to default. Nothing I've changed here. Now, stream, that doesn't matter at all. For the output section, um, there's three main things, essentially. Um, replay buffer, recording, and streaming. Now for streaming, these are just my settings. Make sure to set output mode to advanced though for all these. And here are my recording settings. Now type is standard. Recording path is just the file the recording saves to. So you can make a new file and um, whenever you stop recording, the file will be set into that. Recording format, MP4, encoder, NVIDIA, NVENC, uh, H.264, new. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will have that same encoder option, so make sure to select that one, that's the best one. Um, but if you have a different CPU or GPU, I think it might show up differently, I'm not sure in that case what to do, but that's just what I have. For the um, output here, 1920 by 1080 that's what I record in. Ray control, CQP, no, CQP is just the best and CQ level, I have it on 21. There's no difference. I like anything under 21 just makes the file um, size way bigger and it doesn't really change the quality um, anywhere below 21. So I just have it at 21, I think that's the best. Um, keyframe interval is at zero. Preset, max performance, profile, baseline, look ahead, off. Psycho, visual tuning is on. GPU and max B frames are to zero. Now for replay buffer, these are my settings. I have the replay time to 32 seconds. Now this essentially means is when I save a clip, it'll be 32 seconds long. Generally, I find it a little bit shorter to save at 30 seconds. So I have it a little bit higher than 30. I just have it saved at 32. And maximum memory, this doesn't really matter. I just have it at one gigabyte. Um, and then right here, click enable replay buffer and you'll be good. Um, and we'll get into how to start replay buffer in a minute. Here are my audio settings. Uh, I don't think I've done anything there. Here are my video settings. Now this is also very important. For my base canvas resolution, it's 1920 by 1080. Same with output scaled resolution. Downscale filter, now you want this on bilinear, fastest but blurry of scaling. And make sure to turn your FPS value to fractional FPS value. Um, and turn the numerator to 180 and the denominator to one. Now here are my hotkeys. Now um, this is important for the replay buffer that I just mentioned. Um, if you want to use replay buffer to clip things instead of metal, cause that's what I use. Um, I used to use metal, but I like replay buffer better. Um, right here, I have it set to the key that's right below my backspace button. Um, it's easy because it's right next to my mouse. Whenever I get a clip, I just take my hand off my mouse and press it and it saves the last 30 seconds. So you can set that to whatever you want, but you have to have a button um, connected to that in order to save the replay. And everything else here is not set to anything. Now advanced settings, the only thing I've changed here is the general, which is below normal. Uh, process priority and show active outputs warning on exit um, and then here on the video tab color space 709 color range partial and then all this other stuff you can go through it if you want um, and that's generally my settings now normally um, when you open OBS there'll be a little tab here once you have the replay buffer enabled for uh, the replay buffer you want to press start replay buffer and as soon as you do that, it'll just be an ongoing um, thing. So whenever you press that uh, key bind that you set, so when you 
let's just say I hit a seven block clutch and bridge or something like that and I want to clip it, I just press that key bind that I set to the replay buffer and it will automatically save the last 30 seconds um, into the recording folder that I have. So you don't need to be recording at all, just make sure to turn on uh, replay buffer, click start replay buffer every time you open up OBS and yeah, you're good to go. All right, and that's all for my OBS settings, not um, too much to go through there, but really important if you want to have some clean, smooth recording settings.